Hey, it's Skylar. Welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about Moldavite. Moldavite is a crystal, stone, tektite, whatever you want to call it. This is a stone that was formed 15 million years ago, and it's got a very interesting uh, backstory. And today I wanted to share my experience with Moldavite. So a little backstory about Moldavite. It is a natural glass that was formed 15 million years ago when space rock collided with Earth. The particles flew out into the atmosphere and came back down onto the Earth. Um, and it is located in what is now the Czech Republic and I believe in parts of Germany. So my piece here is Besenice, which is an area of the Czech Republic uh, where these um, crystals were formed. It is no longer mined today, so they are considered rare. They are a little bit more costly. So this little piece here, uh, it weighs, I want to say, 4.6 grams, and I paid around $50 for it. But let me tell you why. <laughs> This thing is so freaking cool. I mean, if you're not here for the metaphysical properties, then just get it because, I mean, this came from space and it's got trapped gases from the atmosphere from 15 million years ago. So Moldavite is not a naturally occurring element on Earth, which is why it is a little bit higher in the price. And you have to be careful where you purchase your Moldavite from. There are a lot of fakes on the internet so make sure you do your research, make sure you know how to differentiate fake Moldavite from real Moldavite. And I can um, talk a little bit more on that a little later. So a little bit on how I came to acquire my little piece of Moldavite. It's always been popular, but more so recently with how popular TikTok is, how rapidly information spreads over TikTok. And a lot of people have a lot of interesting stories to tell about this crystal. As far as metaphysical properties of Moldavite, it is said that this is the Holy Grail stone. It brings immense change in your life. A lot of people will warn you that if you are not ready for change, uh, you should definitely take it easy on um, how often you use your Moldavite. And a lot of people will tell you do not buy Moldavite simply because I think they are afraid. They're afraid of change. But I'm here to tell you that it's not to be feared. I mean, it's a freaking rock from space. <laughs> and I'll be honest, when I heard about Moldavite, I was very skeptical about its metaphysical properties. Um, but nonetheless, I wanted to purchase it just because, for one, I was interested to see what it would do in my life. And two, because it's a space rock. I mean, how could you not? Metaphysically, Moldavite is a very high vibrational crystal. A lot of people use it in their meditation. A lot of people will use it to connect to higher beings, a higher, your higher self. And some people have claimed to have spoken to ETs with it because it is an extraterrestrial rock. It is believed to have extraterrestrial mystical powers. People say that when you get your Moldavite, and you hold it for the first time, it will feel like this incredible rush of energy. It will feel like tingling in your hands. Some say it's a burning sensation. You can feel it's incredible vibration and it's overwhelming. And to be honest, I didn't feel any of those things when I picked up my Moldavite. Without rambling too much, my um, skepticism was validated <laughs> and I carried it with me all day, all night, everywhere I went for several weeks. And they say, when you get your Moldavite, you're not supposed to do that. So here's what happened for me. I would sleep with this little thing under my pillow and I had some very vivid, very bizarre dreams. And I am an active dreamer regularly. I do go through periods where I have very vivid dreams and then periods where my dreams are just blah. But I noticed that when I had this under my pillow, around me in my bedroom, that is when I had 
a lot of those vivid, very bizarre, very odd dreams. I did tell my husband about the properties of Moldavite. I was very excited when I got my crystal. I don't think I mentioned having any vivid dreams with Moldavite or that that was a possibility. So there was no um, bias in, put into his head. And he reported the same things. He was having a lot of vivid, um, very surreal dreams. Um, they were very dystopian-like, very um, alternate reality. And interestingly enough, my husband had similar dreams, kind of um, futuristic dystopian type stuff. Another thing that I noticed happening for me is that a lot of childhood memories were coming to surface. Um, a lot of things that I didn't realize that I had in my memories, things that I that were lost for a very long time that did come to surface and it raised a lot of questions and um, like I said, I carried this with me everywhere and I am frequently going to my parents' house and um, I have to say my brother and my mother had a, similar experiences where um, past childhood memories were coming up and without going into too much detail, there were a lot of things that were brought to the surface that really did flip my freaking life around 180. It was a very stressful period, I will be honest. I wasn't expecting it, but I wouldn't change anything. A lot of things came up that needed to be addressed in order to move on, in, to, in order to um, ascend, in order to raise your vibration. That made me a believer. This little devil. I do feel like I am um, not a different person, but a more evolved person. I would like to believe that that is the effect of the Moldavite. So some people say that um, its effect will come and go in waves as you need it. I really do think that I needed that kick in the ass and um, I'm a little nervous to see what surfaces in the future. But from my experience and from what I've heard from others, this does enhance your shadow work. Um, if you are diving into your shadow self, I highly encourage you to purchase uh, a piece of Moldavite. It doesn't matter how big, how small you get it, any, any amount should do, believe me. So if you want to know how to distinguish a real Moldavite from a fake one, there's a reputable webpage called innervisioncrystals.net and they have a gallery of pictures that show you what a fake Moldavite looks like and what a real Moldavite looks like and how to distinguish the two. More commonly, you're going to find your fake pieces of Moldavite are usually um, bigger, chunkier. They're made out of a mold um, and it's much easier to have a larger mold instead of a smaller one like this. So if you buy a smaller piece of Moldavite and you pay a pretty penny for it, chances are you've got yourself a real piece of Moldavite. That's not to say that there aren't um, fake small pieces of Moldavite because there certainly are. Chances are if you get a smaller piece and you're paying uh, maybe 20 to $50, somewhere between um, one to five grams, that, that sounds about right. <clears throat> you get into your heftier pieces and you're probably paying a hundred, a couple hundred dollars. You really don't need a piece of Moldavite jewelry unless you are that into Moldavite. If you are a Moldavite fanatic, then sure, get you a piece of jewelry. But those are a little harder to spot fakes. There are a lot of fake pieces of jewelry because it's it's hard to tell a fake polished piece of Moldavite unless you get yourself a microscope or magnifying glass and look for those little tiny air bubbles. So a unique thing about Moldavite is its shape. You won't find an identical piece of Moldavite. They're unique, they have jagged edges, and they have a, a somewhat matte surface, a matte finish. So if you find a highly glossy piece of Moldavite, it's probably a fake. I would advise you to not purchase anything from Etsy or eBay. Um, I mean, if you must be very careful, make sure you request 
plenty of pictures from the seller, uh, many different angles. If you find a seller or a source where they post several angles of your piece of moldavite um, and they show it in the light and in the dark um, with a backlight, then chances are you've got yourself a reputable seller. If you already have a piece of moldavite and you want to know if it's real or fake, get a magnifying glass and look for those little air bubbles. You will not find a piece of moldavite that does not have those air bubbles. If you happen to have a microscope handy, take a look at your moldavite. Look for those air bubbles and look for flow lines. They're little squiggly lines. So that's it on moldavite. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'm interested to hear your stories. If you have any interesting experiences with moldavite, let me know in the comments. I would be happy to hear those. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you again in the future.